What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Chef Fellow, back with another banging video today, you guys. Today, we're rolling Southern style, deep down in the Delta style, baby. We're going fried chicken liver smothered in onions and gravy on top of creamy mashed potatoes. Yes. Thanks for tuning in with your boy, Chef Fellow. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share, like it, comment, invite it. We bang it today. So, you guys, last video was crazy, man. It was ugly. I was mad. I was mad. I was mad about the video because it didn't turn out right. But it's okay. It's another day. We're going to keep moving. We're going to keep pushing. But look, let me tell you something. Old school style. Chicken liver. A lot of people don't like liver. A lot of people don't like liver, man. Liver's good. Liver's good if you know how to cook it right. So today, we're going to cook it right, baby. We're going to get things together today. We got an onion right here. All it is one onion. We're going to deep fry this liver. We're going to drain it. We're going to chop up some onions. We're going to make some homemade gravy out of flour water. Out of flour water. Hmm. It's about to be banging. Thanks for tuning in with your boy, Chef Fellow. Let's get this video rolling. I'll be right back. Well, you guys, we're going to start about cutting this onion up. Unless I want to peel it. Onion. Well, I know everybody is back to work, and some of the kids are went back to school. The parents, the parents is like, man, no time. Anyway, and the trash. So we're gonna cut this onion up. onions up, get them boys out the way, because we're going to need to smell them down. Man, growing up in the South, we had some weird stuff, you know, when I was coming up, I got introduced to coon, squirrel, rabbit, I fell in love with it, man. And you guys go back a couple months ago, I did a video about I'll say about six months ago, I cooked the raccoon in the oven with some sweet potatoes, man. Coons are good. Anybody out there like coon? Coon, rabbit, squirrel, pheasant, duck, man, buffalo. All that good stuff, man. Now, I never tried it, but some people, they say people... Eat black bear. Black bear. Never never heard of that before. Then I, I would never eat a horse. Some people eat horse meat. I don't know what they do to that. But, you know, I like buffalo. I like elk, moose. I like all that good stuff. So, we'll chop these onions up. Peel these potatoes. We're doing some Idaho potatoes today. Cream mash. And then like some mashed potatoes with some gravy. Homemade gravy. Homemade gravy or rice. Rice! Rice with gravy is good to me. It's good to me. Anyway. In a minute, about to peel these potatoes and then we're gonna get ready to get our liver. Liver is draining, and then we're gonna season our liver and then we're gonna get this fire going. We're gonna turn the heat up on the grease and we're gonna drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot, baby. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be right back. Mm! So, you guys, what we got over here? We have our chicken. Liver, look at that. Look nasty, don't it? I know. But wait to the outcome. Wait to the outcome. 
Then over here, we have a bowl of stuffed rosin flour. Then over here, we have one cup of flour, and then we have one cup of water for our gravy. Flour water makes the gravy. Check this out. All right. In the meantime, I'm peeling potatoes. We got Idaho potatoes. We ain't gonna do that. Peel. Make it creamy. Creamy! Well, we're gonna peel all these boys. We ain't gonna peel that whole bag, though. So, the holidays, there's a lot of family time, you know, it felt weird, this last year, a lot of people didn't spend time with family, you know, so, because of COVID, for everybody was feeling good to unite, and be with their mothers and fathers, and you know, brothers and sisters. So that's a good thing about it. I'm gonna kill a couple of these. We got a bag over here. I have a whole new table. I'm gonna kill them. Okay. Old school style, baby. Fried chicken liver. And you know, I asked some guys today at work, you like a liver? No, I don't like that. What you mean you don't like? Liver is good, man. I don't, I don't like the texture. Man, you eat fried liver, it's good. A lot of people like liver. A lot of people like liver. You know? A lot of people like liver, man. I like chicken liver better than beef liver. Beef liver is okay. Leave me something in the comment box. Which liver you like, beef or chicken more? Which one do you like? I like chicken. It just tastes better. So. All right. I'm going to peel these boys. And then we're going to put them in that pot back there. Let these boys boil. Meantime, trying to decide still. I'm gonna make some uh, some fried cornbread patties on top of the stove. You guys know about them little hot water cornbread patties? You know what I mean? And make a puppy one. Boy! You know what I mean? Oh, God. Oh, God. Y'all gotta know how to eat. Most of y'all don't know how to survive, do you? You better learn how to survive. You need it! Because time! Time is coming. The time is coming, y'all. Me? I'm going to take me some poke salad. Anything. Now, if you guys from the South, what you know about poke salad? Most people don't know about poke salad. It's poison. It's poison. You have to really wash it and boil 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 it. And then you get you a piece of fat back. Cut it up. Fry it down with that fat back. Throw your two, two or three eggs off in there. Maybe an onion. Fry that all together, man. Poke salad is like spinach. Basically. It's good, man. Grandma. <laughs> My grandma used to cook it all the time, and then my uncle tried to cook it, and he couldn't even cook it. He know what I'm talking about. He got sick. Bless his heart. Thank God. But he got sick. <laughs> he got sick because he cooked it. He cooked it wrong. You should have boiled it two or three times to get that poison out. Man. But it grows. It grows down in the valley. Sometimes it grows on the side of the road. That <laughs> poke salad. The most most people out here, they rather get a TV dinner, or they rather 
they rather uh, just go out to eat, you know. I'll give me some McDonald's. Yeah, you know, you know, you know what you put in you, boy. Hey, I grew up loving McDonald's until I found out what McDonald's was doing to me. But don't get me wrong now. Hold on now. I love their fries. McDonald's got some good fries. But basically what I'm trying to say, you guys have to learn how to survive and know what you're eating. Yeah. Because what you think sounds nasty sounds good to other people. And sometimes, you know, everybody's different, you know. Now, I do want to try one thing I haven't tried yet. I want to try groundhog. They tell me groundhog is pretty good. Hmm. I want to try that. What should you cook? I'll cook them like a beaver in the oven with some onions and celery and some potatoes. Beaver is good, too. Beaver is good. But I want to try groundhog. I want to try some groundhog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, true story. I got an uncle. His name is JD. Then I got another uncle. It's JB. Yeah, just like Johnson family, man. Uncle JD, JB. Everybody got a JD in their family. But his son name is JD the Moore the first. JD Moore the second. He got two sons that named JD, and he's JD Moore the senior. But anyway, we was going fishing. Man, this man trying to make me go off road. You know, this man, this this type of man here is wild. Real wild lifestyle. That's what he do. He hunt fish. He sits up at night. You know, he's just thinking about the next buck he can take down. A small. You know what I mean? A small. But anyway, this man here, we was going fishing. And a big old groundhog come across and across the street. He said, hit him, hit him, hit him. I said, hit him? What you mean, hit him? Hit him, man, hit him. I said, <laughs> I said really? <laughs> Dude actually was mad at me for a minute because I didn't run over the groundhog. I didn't know. After he told me he had a long talk about me, I should have ran over him. I didn't know he was that delicious. But hey. We're going to save him for another day, but I will get them, and I will cook them on the show. I will do it for you guys. But uh, thanks for tuning in with your boy, Chef Fellow. We're going to get these uh, potatoes nice and peeled. we about got about three more to do, and then we're going to get this show really banging. We're going to deep fry this chicken liver and smell it out with some onions and gravy. Flour water. My mama taught me that. Be right back. So you guys, check this out. Check this out. Chicken liver. Whoa. <laughs> A lot of people are like, Ugh. what's wrong with it? It's just a different type of meat. It's different. Jeffy Dunner. So what we're doing? We've got our black pepper over here. Season our liver up. Season it. Then we have our salt. I'm not using these anymore. All right. Mm -hmm. Nicely seasoned with black pepper. You know, I use black pepper, meat tenderizer, whatever you want to use. Season salt, garlic salt, blah, 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 blah. garlic powder, onion powder, whatever else you want to use. So, got that. Put in our flour. Oh, nicely coated chicken liver. That's all you want it. Want to coat it? Just let it drop. Simple. Let it drop. We're going to put a cup of them in here. 
Got the heat on. The heat on. So, you guys check this out. But yeah, let's b back to my other what I was saying. Do actually want me to run over the groundhog. I'm like, eh. So, he got to the point where I didn't move fast enough for him, I guess. He reached from the passenger side of the car and reached over and grabbed the steering wheel of my car. Yeah, drop, get over here, hit him. I said, man, he's crazy. I got some crazy uncles, man. I love her, Clarence. Me smiling in his sleep. Yeah, I'm a strong people. I got an Uncle JB. He's a con artist. Nephew. What up? Let me hold 500. I'll give it back to you next week. Really? Really? He likes the casino. I got an Uncle Fred. <laughs> I'm serious. Are you? Green. Not the green, I'm talking about the green that grow on the tree. I said, what are you talking about? That firebug. That happy stick. Hey like, man, what you talking about? Mama, what are you talking about? Yo, Uncle Fred crazy, you know what you know. So, those are my uncle. Then I got an Uncle Ellis. They call him Pimp. Oh, <laughs> I'm serious. Man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, I got an uncle, they call him Uncle Ellis, we call him Uncle Ellis, but they call him Pimp, okay, they call him Pimp, and why they call him Pimp, it's Jerry Carroll all the way down here, <laughs> and when he come to you, he come to you like, what's up, nephew, I said, what's up, oh, so how you doing, so I'm doing all right, so up, you stay g up, man, look at you, yeah, nephew, you know what I mean, I said, What's been good? Oh, uh, you know. Nothing. Same old, same old nephew and every, everything. Then he pull him up. When he pull him up, and he can just sit back like that, he's ready to talk. Uncle Pimp. But his name is Uncle Ellis. Jericho down here. Mr. T. Mustache. My Auntie Brenna. I love you. Love you, Auntie. She make the hammer pants. You know what I mean? My Auntie used to make hammer pants. She used to design clothes for people. She used to do blankets, all type of stuff off the brain. But anyway, yeah. So, Uncle Fred, I got Uncle JD, JB, Uncle Clamors, Uncle Jane Coleman. We call him Super Chicken. You guys can look him up on YouTube. He's best friends with Morgan Freeman, the actor. They call him Super Chicken, famous blues singer. And when you touch him, we say, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's why they call him Super Chicken. Because my grandparents had chickens, and he used to run the chickens, run the chickens, run the roosters, and they used to pluck on him. You know what I mean? They call him Super Chicken. Look it up on YouTube. My Uncle Jane Colton. They call him Super Chicken. Yes, indeed. So let's test this grease out. See what we got here. Let's get in there. So, uh. Most and definitely, those are all my uncle, man. I think my grandparents had like eight boys and four girls. Big mama, big sisters, my oldest auntie. My mother's next oldest. They call her Red Bone because my mother's very high yellow. Call her Red. Red Bone, you know. Then we got Dot, which her name is Dorothy. Then we got Vic Vic. Her name is Victoria. That's baby girl. It's my baby auntie. So those are my family, man. And, and man, I'm telling you, they funny. They funny, man. They funny. Good people to be around, man. Good people in it. They love to cook. They love to eat. But uh, yeah, man. Okay, I want to taste a piece of groundhog. Groundhog, that's one of the meat, so I want to taste. Uh, I had some alligator. I want to taste some uh, sorella snake. So I want to say something about sorella snake. So I want to taste that. So. Look at that. Turn the heat off. A little grease got on the, on, on the stove. But yeah, I want to take some real estate. Never tasted before. So I want to check that out. I heard it's banging. Rattlesnake, alligator. I want to taste like chicken. They say everything tastes like chicken. Come on, man. But uh, also definitely, we're going we gonna, to we gonna see about that groundhog. We're going 
we're gonna get this. I'm about to start a fire over her, so let me take care of this. And I'll be right back. Well, you guys, we got a liver over here getting it worked on. I'm gonna drop some more in the skillet. We got our potatoes cooking. We got more chicken liver. See. Yeah, on South, they got a lot of gas stations that uh, have little corner stores added on. They got chicken, they got chicken liver, they got gizzards, they got baked chicken, green beans. Uh, uh, we call it double quick. Down South, you can catch them down to Memphis, Shelby, Jackson, Greenville, all that good stuff, man. They have potato salad, they got corn, deep fried corn, they got sweet potato pie, they got... I got everything like a regular, but it's a gas station. So, a lot of gas stations up north starting to get hit up. Like Chester's and all that. They got gizzards, they got liver. And it's good, man. Get your half a pound of gizzards. Sit in your truck. Pop your leg up. Roll the window now. Put the hot sauce. Catch up. Man, you good. It's banging! I'm telling you that liver is good. Bam! Bam! Got more liver to go. You say, I don't, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like hot takes in my mouth. Really? I ain't got time to think about it. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't have time to think about it. Lost my hair. Woo! Woo! Baby, go home. Now I'm trying to tell you that you want to be new. Man, so. Then. Then we have my great uncles, the great uncles. I have my uncle preacher, one of my great uncles. Smooth, man. And this, this guy, father was like 77 years old, 74, 75. And he still got it. He always had it. You know, they say that's my twin. Big guy. Tall guy, big old broad shoulders, you know what I mean? Smooth. And y'all always got that look. You know, the OGs, they smooth, they keep their toothpick in the back, and you like, you know, what's going on? That's you like you been doing. And you going, all right, y'all. You know what I mean? He'd be like, man, guys, and he always, you know, he always talked to us about the past and coming up when we was around him, and, I, and that's, that's the good thing about him. Seeing people you haven't saw in a while, and you, you can reconnect, get back on track. So, thank the Lord for the family, sir. So I'm seasoning up some more liver. Anybody tuning in? This is your boy Chef Fellow. Please subscribe to the channel. You know, I keep them coming. It's always banging. I does all type of dishes. I don't, I don't know. I'm just different that. I like to do it all, southern style, I do rabbit, fish, whatever, whatever you name, I cook it, I've been to cook it for years, and I love cooking it, so, and I love eating it, man, I'm different, God didn't put everybody here to be the same, put us here different to learn from each other, you like this, alright, let me try that, I ain't never tried, oh, I like it too, now we both on the same page, that's what it's about, learn from me, I learn from you, we move on! I'm gonna put some more liver in here. Yeah! Oh, this is mine, though. This this is for me. You know, I got the boys eat that liver. They eat liver fish. The girls like I'm cool. I'm cool, pops. I'm cool. They missing out, though. Oh, I'm making a mess. Missing out. So, get this liver all together, get my hands washed, because I need them. Oh 
some things. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fry a lemon, we're gonna drain it, and then we're gonna save some of this grease, cook our, cook our onions down there. Man, look at a lemon. Good stuff, man. I don't know about this. I don't know about it, man. I don't know about it. Make that gravy in there. Woo! All empty. Empty. The thing about dealing with flour, it gets, it gets everywhere. Good stuff. Newspaper because flowers get everywhere, man. It's okay. You get everything rolling. We're gonna set up the strainer. We already drain our first batch of chicken liver, and then we're gonna put that gravy, that gravy to it. Here we are. So you guys, we're gonna take this liver out. Woo! Look at this job. Let this out, let it drain. Woo! Boy, you're talking about something other Oh, I almost got me. Chicken liver! You know, get together and then what's up, dog? How you doing? How your wife doing? How the kids doing? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Talk. Can I talk? Talk to Matt. But we talk too much. They go in the store and stay a day. I'm out there sweating. Where you at? I have to go on a manhunt. I have to put the National Guards out to find my wife and kids. They be out just gone. Leave me in the car, y'all didn't think about me. Really? It's not right. It's not right. No, it's not right. I'm supposed to be getting treated like this. Y'all got it all. Y'all got birthdays. Y'all got anniversaries. Y'all got Valentine's Day. Y'all get Christmas. Then if you don't pay, you get my soul. I got to get my soul away. 
I'm flashing in the other room. She can't hear me talking. So. Doesn't matter. Woohoo! So, as that fry, keep wiping because I should have should have had it together, but I didn't. But we're going over here. Got our container, cup of flour, bam. Water, bam. Where are my black pepper seasoning? Woo! Little salt, bam. Little black pepper, what? Whipping, 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 baby. <laughs> also, you put a little house seasoning in there, a little onion powder. You can put a little garlic in there. You can just, you know, you can just put your soul power to it. Get it all nice. Nah, just trying to be nice right now. Trying to be okay because she's been getting on me about the salt and all that, so. If we don't go, we don't go! <laughs> so, I got more dishes for her to wash. So we're gonna stir this up. We're gonna pop the stuff everywhere. So, we're gonna get that ready. Let this finish frying. Gravy one in there. Mash working. Woohoo! So you just got a little outcome. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, if you're mad, you put some food in your mouth. It's like energy. Mm. Power you up! You know, some people catch your ass to it. Hey, 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 hey. Who thought that? Sure. My fault. Hang it out on me. <laughs> Come here, go. Hey, 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 hey. I ain't got no money. Who thought that? Not my fault. Well, look. Liver's good. Nice and tender. Not fat. When you smell it now, it's going to be even tender. Mm. Yes, sir. Good, yes, sir. <laughs> so, you got a mind to Now, look. You guys, the brats. That was a messed up show. Mm. Y'all can tell. I'm kind of, I'm kind of sorry.